Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make cheesy chicken casserole. This is a chicken pasta casserole that's easy to make and a total family favorite. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a 9 by 13 pan. This recipe calls for cooked chopped chicken so you can use leftover, bake some up, boil some up, or use shredded rotisserie chicken. Or you could even use canned chicken. Next, bring a large pot of water to a boil. Then cook your egg noodles, 12 ounces according to the package directions. Meanwhile, in another saucepan, get a quarter cup of butter melting over medium heat. Then we'll add in about a cup of diced white onion, so about half of an onion. We're gonna saute the onion until it's tender, which will be about five to seven minutes. Now, once the onions are soft, we'll sprinkle in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and three cloves of minced garlic. And we'll let this cook for about 90 seconds. Then we'll pour in two cups of chicken broth, two cups of milk, season with a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and we'll bring this to a simmer. As it comes to a simmer, the flour will cause the mixture to thicken up. At this point, your pasta should be about done, so when it is, drain it and rinse it and set it aside. After a minute or two of simmering, your sauce should start thickening up, and then you'll add in two cups of frozen peas, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and about two cups of cooked chopped chicken. Turn off the heat and we'll stir this in. There should be just enough residual heat to melt the cheese. Once the cheese is melted in, we're gonna grab our pasta and we'll pour that into our prepared nine by 13 pan. Then we'll grab our sauce and pour that on top of the pasta. Then we'll give this a quick toss right in our nine by 13 pan until all of the pasta is evenly coated. Instead of peas, you could also use a bag of mixed frozen veggies, whatever your family likes. Now, it wouldn't be a good casserole without a delicious topping on top. So what you're gonna do is grab a sleeve of Ritz crackers, and you wanna crush those up inside the sleeve. If it helps, you can also use a meat mallet or a rolling pin to crush it up nice and finely. Then we'll pour that into a bowl, and crush up any remaining large chunks. Then we'll add in a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese and toss this together real quick. And then add in about three teaspoons of olive oil and toss just until it's slightly moistened. Then we'll sprinkle this mixture right on top of our pasta. You wanna give it a nice even layer so you get that little bit of crunch right on top. Then we're gonna bake this in the 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes until the crackers on top are lightly browned. If you want to add a little pop of color, you can garnish with some freshly chopped parsley. But other than that, you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.